everyone, it's Monica. Welcome back to Because Jesus Bible Journaling. Today, I'm just going to be sharing a really easy technique with you of how to use magazine clippings in your Bible. And today I'm titling this entry to the ends of the earth. So here is this little magazine clipping I found of these sailboats, and I'm going to just take you through the process, what I did to it to really make it become part of my Bible. So here we are in Psalm 48. I've been going through the Psalms for almost two years now and taking a break here and there for different series and things that I've done on this channel. But here I am back in Psalms. My faithfulness series just has come to a close and it was kind of refreshing to just jump right back into the Psalms where I had left off. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and resize this to be approximately the size of my Bible margin. And this came out of a magazine advertisement for Geico, the insurance people, and I am not affiliated with them in any way, but I saw this picture of the sailboats and instantly thought that's about the size of the margin in my Bible. And so I simply cut it out and I'm just adding some matte gel medium. This is Liquitex matte gel medium to the page and it's going to act like an adhesive and I'm just going to go ahead and press this down into place. Now I am going to end up cutting off some of the water down below, but I'm not going to worry about that too much at this point. So I'm smoothing this out and I'm realizing that this magazine clipping is actually kind of printed on poor quality paper. So I did get a little bit of wrinkles here and there, which is not a normal issue that I deal with, but in this case it did happen. But again, I'm not going to worry about that too much. I'm going to do some work with this image and really make it start to look like it's part of the page. So I am journaling in Psalm 48 and the Bible verse is just talking about how the praises of the Lord go to the ends of the earth. And as usual, the psalmist is talking all about how there are enemies and there's conflict and all of that. But he takes a minute and just says, your praise extends to the very ends of the earth. And I just loved that sentiment. So I wanted to go ahead and get that down in the margin first. So I grabbed this Uniball Signo gel pen in white, and I just wrote down your praise. And then because my space was a little bit limited there in the margin, I just said to the ends of the earth. And I'm just doing this freehand very slowly. It's just a cursive script that kind of floats up and down as you need it, which is great because I wanted to keep it on the mountains. If I kind of strayed into the sky with this white pen, you wouldn't be able to see it very well. And then I'm just going through and thickening up each letter in every word anywhere that my hand would naturally have gone in a downward direction as I was writing it. And that's just going to allow this to kind of pop off the page. I could have left it just the way it was, but that's going to make it look really, really highlighted on the page. Now I'm grabbing my oil pastels again. Surprise, surprise. I've used them in like every video recently. And I am just using that to kind of blend the image all the way out to the edge of the page and upward into where the verses of the Bible are printed. So as you can see, this is just helping that image sort of extend to the edge of the page. And then I'm kind of blurring out that edge where I had cut the image and allowing it to just kind of float up into some cloudy blue sky as it goes toward where the scripture itself is printed. And that's pretty much it. This is not a super fancy intense collage. It's a simple collage, kind of a one piece collage, but it's a great way to use magazine clippings if you see something that really strikes you. Jump into the word of God for yourself today. It is amazing. Find us over on Facebook. Find me on Etsy. I sell Bible journaling templates to help you get into the word of God for yourself. Give this video a like, give it a thumbs up, give it a comment below, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.